All right, so this is what I'm gonna be doing for breakfast. I made it. Woo! <laughs> All right, dude, you ready for a camping trip? I am ready for a camping trip. Let's roll. Made it and all set up. Dude, I'm bummed I forgot the dominoes. Is that your sun tanning reflection That's mirror? Windshield for the stuff. <laughs> Getting a nice sun tan under your beard? I gotta, I gotta <laughs> angle it under the beard like that. <laughs> okay, so I set up the campsite. Now we're just gonna hang here, play some games, relax, cook some steak, go to bed. Then we are testing out this table setup that my brother got. Good morning. All right, so we are now going to a little shop here at the campground, grab some firewood, some water, and I gotta grab another one of those uh, jet boil canisters. Make some breakfast. Bacon and eggs, and cheese, and tortillas, and breakfast burritos. Yeah. <laughs> breakfast burritos. Your dog poops, you scoop. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Hello there.
Man, people have been so friendly here at this campsite. Our, our neighbors that were over there, they gave us a pallet of wood on their way out. They weren't going to use it. And then over at the shop, somebody donated this canister over there. Didn't have to pay for any more fuel. It's pretty awesome. So it ended up raining for a bit last night and it got pretty windy. Happy to say that these tents held up very, very well. No problems with leakage. I was a little bit worried about the wind with this tent. Had some pretty good gusts and I was worried because this is held up by the walking sticks. But it is nice and firm in there. That's what she said. <laughs> so. I didn't really have to worry. Looks like the clouds are now starting to part. It's beautiful out. I'd say about 73 degrees or so. Put on some long pants. First time I've gotten to wear these long pants, so I'm pretty excited about that. They're really, really comfortable. All right, so this is what I'm gonna be doing for breakfast. It says to use one cup. I have put a line on a smart water bottle to measure one cup. Donated fuel works. The bacon, a staple of camping. That's just pure fat. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Mm. Compared to my first bikepacking trip, if you remember that one. Oh God, <laughs> so bad. This is oh so much better. Peak Refuel is definitely the freeze-dried meal company to go with. All right, so those who have been following for my weight loss journey, I'm gonna do a quick B-roll of all the food I've had for the past few days. That was good. Oh, bacon and egg burrito, some cheese. Bursting at the seams with delicious goodness. Uh -huh. people once again we are out on the trail I'm not sure what day of my workout it is I'll put it right here a hike up a mountain right next to the ocean Made it. Woo! <laughs> 
set little goals for yourself. I want to make it to the top of that mountain right there. Bang. And you are rewarded with beautiful views. <laughs> Let's take a look at the campsite from here. No pen. I come to these spots to decompress. Little camping trips for a few days. Just forget about the outside world, the craziness we're all facing these days. You know, it really helps me to keep sane in these insane times. Every day, one crazy headline after a number from both left and right political parties. And everyone in the middle standing there with their hands in the air, not knowing how to act. The mass of normies out there that haven't made decisions or hold principled beliefs. So much I've been not worrying, but praying that war doesn't come to this world. We've got two countries bombing each other over in Ukraine and Russia blowing up bridges. Then on another part of the world, we got North Korea testing missiles, ballistic missiles. We're on the edge of hyperinflation and the crash of the dollar. Probably to some digital world currency where everything you've purchased will be trackable and you won't be able to purchase some things that you wish to. I really do wonder where this world is going. But coming out here, it makes you realize there's not much you can do about it. You can have your beliefs and opinions, principles, and you could discuss it with the people around you. Outside of word of mouth, I'm not sure what we can do. I mean, I'd like to say that coming out here could completely shield me from the crazy outside world, but you know, the, the way things are going over there, if we have a nuclear war, even being out here might not protect me. Let's pray that that never happens. Let's pray that that never comes true. And if it does, so be it. Thinking these thoughts, the helplessness of it all, coming out here really really brings another perspective that you just have to let it go last night in our tents we got rained on a lot of wind and we had never tested our tents and they held up very well we didn't have to worry about mother nature getting rid of us with too much rain you really just have to surrender to it all let God's will be done What's up, dude? Hey. You doing a little review of this, uh, whatever this that is? This is the Swagman roll. Ah. Like I just said, hands down, one of my favorite items I got for all camping and survival. Where can, some, where can somebody find the video that you're going to be making here? Is, well, if I ever end up editing a video out of this, which I sure as hope hell I will. So where would it be? At brainpodmedia.com. Okay, there we go. Let's see how they hold up if they hit some rain. Well, that was a fun hike. Time to wind down here. Definitely broke a sweat, oh, which is really cold on my back right now. So I'm gonna cool off a little bit and then it's getting pretty chilly out here. It's looking like it might be another rainy night, which let's hope so, because I wanna see how well this uh, these tents do. I mean, that thing was really warm. I didn't get cold at all. Not even, it's not even as effective as it could be because I'm blocking those rays. No, you got it right. Filet Mignon. Filet Mignon? Yeah. Filet Mignon. Oh man,
what do you got in your hand there? It's a cotton ball soaked in Vaseline. Great little homemade fire starter. All those sparks are hitting it, but... Huh. All right, plan B. This forever match. There we go. So. Put it underneath the uh, oh, little sticks. Get the cotton ball first. Get that cotton ball lit. Why is it not lighting? There we go. We have fire. Okay, so I have two choices for dinner tonight. I'm gonna try some of these peak refuels that I haven't tried yet. The beef pasta marinara and the chicken pesto pasta. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. How's that? that? Dude, that's so much better than the ones I made yesterday. <laughs> Such so a better cut. That marinade too, dude. Mm. That marinade is where it's at. Alright, here we go. Time to taste this peak refuel. After having some potatoes and some steak from my brother, I don't think this is going to be very good compared to that filet mignon. <laughs> this actually smells really good. Oh man, that's really good actually. I guess. I am really proud of myself. That yeah, was really like good. Pink. Like it's got that perfect shade of pink all the way through. Oh man. This one's going down in the record books. Packing up camp. We're gonna get out of here and go grab some breakfast somewhere. You have a good time? I sure did. This is fun to test out more gear. That was a lot of fun. Yes, it was. That's a full car right there. Campsite is all shut down, and we are ready to hit the road. Can't go wrong with an omelet after camping. 